So you want your guitar to sound like angels from above. Well, go ahead and do that with the heavenly chorus pedal. Okay, with all this recent talk about rapture and uh, the end of the world coming, let's go ahead and take a look at the heavenly chorus, which is a chorus pedal for GarageBand. And it is a different type of chorus. It is very, very similar to the previous uh, pedal that we have looked at. But let's go ahead and take a listen at the default settings that GarageBand gives us. Okay, as you can see, it it does have that heavenly kind of uplifting type of chorus to it. So I think uh, this pedal is properly named. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can modify this. So we have the rate button right here. And the rate is going to be how fast that uh, back and forth type of modulating within the chorus pedal is going to be. So of course, the more rate you put in it, uh, the faster it's going to be. So let's turn that up and take a listen. Alright, that to me it sounds a little too much, a little exaggerated, but uh, you do get the point. So let's go ahead and, and take a lower rate setting. All right, so that's the lower rate. Um, I do like, I think I like a little bit more than halfway. Yeah, a little bit more than default, just so it's a little more present. Okay, now moving on to the depth knob. The depth is how big of an effect, how drastic that in and out type of sound is, is gonna be within the chorus effect. So, uh, it's about halfway now at the default. Let's go ahead and turn it up to, I don't know, let's say, let's go 75. All right, so uh, definitely not a fan of high depth, but let's go ahead and turn it down to about 25% and jam it out. Okay, I'm gonna turn back the depth up just a little bit and I'm gonna lower the rate a little bit because I think I think the rate is still a little too fast. Okay, so let's move on to feedback. The feedback knob, again, it's uh, it creates a loop. So it's what it does is takes a signal from the output and puts it back in the input and that creates that feedback which is like a cycle over and over and over again. So. The more uh, percentage of feedback that you have, the louder that repetition is going to be. So let's go ahead and let me just turn it up and then sh let's do one strum. Okay, now let's turn down the feedback and see how that sounds with one strum. Okay, so I'm going to turn back the feedback up a little bit more, and the delay is, of course, the timing of that chorus type of sound, so how much time after you strum is it going to be affected. So obviously, the higher you raise up the delay, the more time it's going to be delayed. So let's raise it up to about 75. And I'm going to, let's do one strum. Okay, 
So I think that, I think more delays makes it smoother, smooths it out a little bit. But let's go ahead and take a listen at a lower percentage depth or delay. Okay, so that's the lower percentage of delay. So uh, I'm more of a fan of higher delay just because it smooths it out. And uh, I think the low delay is just it's too abrupt. And if you want that chorusy, blurry type of sound, you need a little bit more delay in there. Anyway, that is the Heavenly Chorus pedal. Make sure to have lots of fun and experiment. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to request at mahalo.com. Tell me